Hello guys, so um, I want us to look at an impact, an important factor that usually affects the performance of the market totally. I mean, um, DXY, that's US dollar index. Okay, so what I have here is the four hour chart and you can see that all this while that DXY has actually been in an uptrend and looking at this closely, this pink line, the two pink lines we have here, you see we have... Um, we have the we have the support and the resistance this this one this is support the one at the upper region is the resistance the one lower the purple line the the purple line below is the um support okay so looking at this now we can see that all these white it has been in an uptrend but then i want us to observe something what I want us to observe is that anytime the price touches the resistance, it usually comes down. Okay, it usually comes down to correct. But all along, what we have is an uptrend. Starting from here, it's actually an uptrend. It's actually been going up. And like I said, that BTC is actually bearish. This is one of the reasons that made me say that BTC is bearish. Because starting from here, look at how it has actually been um, the um, DXY has actually been going up and all this YB, um, BTC has been going down but we need to observe something that BTC is bearish doesn't mean we can have um, um, a little um, upward move and taking a clue from what DXY is doing right now you can see that there is actually a high chance of that occurring now let's switch to one hour time frame let's look at one hour time frame so that um, the picture will be clearer to us Okay, looking at switching to one hour time frame. This is one hour chart. Okay, you can see that. Now look closely. Look at this now. Look at this um, place. Look at this. Um, look at this place now where the price is at. This current price action. Now look at what is happening there. You can see this chart pattern that has formed here. You can see this chart pattern that has formed. Of course, and um, this is a symmetrical triangle. But over time, I've discovered that whenever a symmetrical triangle occurs, yes, the the general notion is that um, the that a symmetrical triangle is an indecision um, chart pattern. But that um, we don't know where price we go to. But from my observation all this while, I've often discovered that price goes in the direction of the um, higher momentum any momentum any any of the direction that has directions that has a higher momentum that's where the price usually um, goes to but looking at what has happened previously that anytime price you test um, this so this uh, resistance it uh, it actually comes to correct and of course price has tested this very um resistance even went above it so if this upward move is to continue this is what i mean here. let me um let me get an arrow to be pointing to what I'm trying to show us, okay? So if this price is to continue to go up, I think immediately it, it came down to the retest this um this breakout point, that's this um resistance turned support. It should have gone up. It started going up, but unfortunately it didn't happen. Instead, it even broke below that um um, resistance now that resistance that former support has turned out to become a resist you can see that it tried it um twice he did it here when he when he when he came down from that point to this place he did it here retested look this line i mean retested it here you know we thought it would continue to go down but it didn't go down said it, it went up again went up again came to this very point now came to this very point this is the point i mean came down here and it didn't it didn't even continue to go instead it broke that very support um, resistance turn support and now that resistance turn support has actually become a resistance again it has actually this very line now has become a resistance so that goes to show that there is a high probability that this thing will continue to go down now knowing about understanding what happens whenever we see a symmetrical triangle like i said that the direction is usually unknown is an indecision chart pattern but oftentimes market moves in the direction of the higher momentum and some some school of thoughts some textbooks say that whenever you spot a symmetrical triangle in any given chart that um the direction is in the preceding trend the direction is in the preceding trend and what is actually the pre this is the, the 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 trend so the trend is actually down because immediately it got to that place it went down so we have something like this uh, 
I think I should change the color so that it doesn't confuse us. Let me change it to white, okay? So we have this here now. From that point to this very place where this symmetrical triangle started forming, okay? So if we have something of that nature, that means our expected projection for um, the x, y, the direction we're expecting it to fall is in this side, is in this direction. We are expecting it to, taking that measurement of this, we are expecting it to move from there, we are expecting it to uh, move from there, from this very point now. We are expecting it to go down to this place now, to this um, current um, support, this very line now. This, this, let me change the color as well so that we can differentiate. Okay, so the blue line is the support, whereas the one up here, okay, let me change the, this color as well. The blue line is support, whereas this... Um, green or yellow rather yellow okay the blue line is support whereas the yellow is the resistance okay so we're expecting this thing now to move from there and to come down to this blue line now so because of what i just explained earlier that market usually moves in the direction of the preceding trend and what is the preceding trend here is actually down because it hits that um it hit the resistance. It couldn't sustain it. Instead, it, break, it broke below it. And all this why price has actually been moving under this um, resistance. So to a large extent, there's a possibility of all seeing um, 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 the XY come down to maybe, maybe we could probably see it as 109.0360. Remember what I'm using is capital com. Okay, this, this capital com, the, the, their price is different from every um some other um platforms that has dxy on it okay so what I, the data i'm using is what um is provided by um capital com okay so if you try if you try using F fxtm you might see a different value if you try using oanda you might see a different value so what i'm using is capital com okay so this analysis is from the data provided by capital com okay so we are looking at support levels of one 110.5608 that's for the xy and then another support of 109.0369 for the xy that's on capital com okay so if the xy eventually starts dropping to this very level of course what it means is that btc will definitely get some um push upwards that's why i said that there is a probability of a seeing btc go to 21.6 so these are the things i consider that made me make that um statement but it doesn't really mean that once this starts happening that bearishness of btc has reversed no it hasn't reversed because it's highly likely that immediately it touches this it, the sy touches this very blue line now it will definitely start going up again okay immediately the sy touches this blue line that's the support it will definitely start going up and then btc will start dropping so these are the things we have to put into cognizance we have to factor them especially as a day trader as a trader that you are you need to put all these things in uh, of course long-term investor they don't really have to you know worry themselves about this one day once they look at the general um, chart of this dxy okay once they see that is actually in an uptrend that's all they need so they are looking for opportunities to short btc but with our day traders we also have to factor in all these things to know what to, to do at every point in time and of course whenever dxy is dropping it will be a boost for all these um currencies that's forex market all these currencies that are paired with usd it will gbp Euro, Euro USDT and uh, Euro, Euro USD and the rest, all these um, currencies that are paid with USD, it will be a boost for them. They will actually be in an uptrend. But once DXY is going up, those currencies that are paid with um, GB with US, USD will definitely start going down because they have an inverse relationship. Okay, so that's basically what I wanted I wanted to share with us so that you will know what to do at every point in time. You'll be well positioned to know what you are doing at every point in time. All right, guys, I wish you good success in your trading. I'll talk to you soon.